Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, I'm going to introduce you a new open source memory tool for MCP servers. You know, that's called open memory. It's by Mem uh, Zero AI and they have uh, made it open source and I really like open source. So we're gonna look at uh, this uh, innovation, this tool, this library framework, whatever you call it, uh, you know, for our MCP based systems that we are building, right? Because Memory is a big issue when it comes to building agentic AI solutions, uh, dealing with the large context memory or, you know, because we have plethora of uh, memories that we can create because we are having these interactions, uh, you know, with different data sources and whatnot and keeping those uh, in a better way locally secure. It's a big task, right? And that's what open memory does. You know, it, you can, it helps you basically uh, for your local and secure memory management when you are working with MCPs. Let's jump in and see how we can use that. So if you look at here on my screen, I'm on the GitHub repository. It's called uh, Mem Zero, Mem Nil, whatever you call it. It's by Mem Zero AI. It says memory for AI agents and they're already state of the art. They, they have uh, enhanced their, of course, algorithms and whatnot behind it. And they the good thing is that in the research paper, they have mentioned that uh uh the if you look at here i think it's 26 percent if i'm not number if i'm not yeah if i'm not wrong if you look at here it says 26 percent accuracy over open ai memory on the locomo benchmark that's the benchmark for uh evaluating uh, memories in uh, llm or gen ai based systems right now they already have a paper it says you can see read the full paper over here if you click on this you know it takes you over there you can see mem zero and then open ai on the locomo benchmark by snap uh you know of course performance has been measured using llm as a judge with gpd4 or mini now that's the cool thing about it like they have they have not only been talking they have a scientific justification then why should we use their uh tool right when we're working with uh mcp systems or any agentic ai workflows and you can see it's pronunciation pronunciation as mem zero so that's what the real pronunciation is now this is how you can install it but we are interested more in uh open memory so if you go inside open memory here is a subfolder uh, and this is how their documentation is very easy it might be a bit tricky if you are on windows machine but for uh or a linux or a mac or a unix distro it's a really easy to kind of work with open memory mcp that's what and i was like doing i'm just going to give you some walkthrough and the good thing is if you are on windows machine uh i have you covered so i already have created for my windows machine and i'm just going to upload that on my github repository so you can just use that repo you know the make files because you might not have make you know available through bass or like you are not using linux or unix distro so on windows you might have to use docker to kind of run it right uh so that's what we're gonna see now right now i'm on mac so i'm just i've just followed them i'm gonna show you it's pretty simple thing okay uh this is how their documentation looks like you can go through their documentations they have of course memory management you know storage architecture and blah 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 but with the open memory you know you can see it's running on localhost 3000 i'm already running this uh, on this and then it says if you want to install this on mcp clients or host that's what we call them right cloud for desktop cursor or uh, windsurf rook line client which see rook line is an open source very similar to what client does but make open source in convo which see and then mcp link over here now i'm gonna show you a few things okay so let me just show you i was like playing with it okay now you can see the memory over here uh, and I'm, I'm going to show you, give you a walkthrough, but memories have been added in Windsurf. So you can see I'm using Windsurf as an IDE here. And you can see I have added this memory uh, server, MCP server in Windsurf. And now if I go back here, you can see total apps connected, one app. And of course, there is no memories yet. You can see total memories, zero memories, but we are total apps connected. So we are able to connect here. Now, before we go into all of this, how do we run this? It's very simple. What you have to do if you are on Linux or Unix distros, come here, you know, and just follow this step. We have to do a uh, curl or a C URL, right, with this uh, command. And OpenAI API key can be set through here as well. And you can also do export or set, depending on if you're on Windows or wherever. And they also have a .env file. You know, if, if you look at here on my Windsurf, so if you if you first clone this repository, so if the moment you clone this repository, you will find out API and UI2 folders. And then they have, when you do make files, it will have Docker Compose and blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, now within the API, we have a .env file that I just created from .env examples. So this is how you, when you clone it, this is how it looks like. Now, once you have that, you just have to do this. You can see I did C world, curl, whatever, you know, on this, and then I set the keys and blah, blah, blah. So that's how I did it. By the way, I just deleted the key after it. So you, 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 like, you can just ignore that. Now, the thing is, we'll be able to work with memory locally. Let's say we're working with huge chunk of projects or data or daily basis you are using some mcps you know you can see the memory will be added like this now so once you have cloned this and you have once you make this uh the following command okay you have to just do make build and make up that's what you have to do to build the mcp server and ui and run open memory mcp server and ui and it runs on localhost 3000 the ui so if you look at here the ui runs on localhost 3000 the backend api is you know the servers run on uh, port 8765, and of course, the docs are available as a Swagger specification over, uh, you know, when you do slash docs. Now, that's what, that's how easy it is. At least they made it very high level abstract classes to deal with you. They already have a run.sh that helps our helps us run this directly from GitHub. You can see it over here. Now, once that is set up, right, you can see this is how it's running here in my Docker container. You can see the Docker desktop here. Now, this is where it's running. You can see. We have open memory running up over here in my containers are running. You can see, so the, it, it will be very similar for you as well when you do it. Now, in WinSurf, as you can see the memory, you have to run few commands. So let me show you that. What you have to do is you have to do npx install mcp, this command that you see. Well, the moment you see this is up and running over here on localhost 3000. Now it depends on you that on which MCP client, you want to use this memory. Let's say you want to use it on cloud, so we can do it on cloud, or you want to do it on, like, let's say Windsurf, you can do it on Windsurf. That I, I, you can see, uh, we already have it on Windsurf over here. Now, let's say if you want to do it on cloud for desktop, I don't like cloud for desktop application, it's really uh, buggy, but you know, you can just play around it. But it depends. I mainly use MCPs for like what I'm working with GitHub repositories and you know my codes. And if you're connecting with data repositories, like let's say I want to connect with Confluence, Jira, ServiceNow and whatnot, then I, I use that or Tableye and whatnot. So let me just do that here. The moment you do this, you know, it's gonna of course ask you the name of server. Let's let's call it memory. I'm gonna say, are you ready to install this MCP server? You can see it's running on this here. You know, so I'm just gonna run and you can see it says uh, successfully installed MCP server in cloud. So that's what it is now if i go here right i think i should uh, just rephrase this apps it still shows me one app that's real surprising okay we're gonna go through it but yeah let me just open cloud here so if i open cloud and cloud has some issues guys you know i've seen this with open memory sometimes it's not connecting with cloud but it does connect with uh windsurf and cursor that's a good thing about it you know sometimes it's failing on cloud for desktop and i think they have a lot of open issues going on if you look at the issues here uh mem zero you can find out that it's it has been facing issues with you can see open memory with cloud desktop uh there's many issues going on connection refused uh unable to fetch memories blah 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 so when you're working with cloud a bit be a bit attentive on the issues and see how they are uh fixing the issues but yeah cloud has that issues uh to be honest right now Okay, look, this is how cloud for desktop looks like okay uh you can see it over here you can see search and tools we i have some other mcp servers over here so that's what it's showing uh but yeah if if i come here on windsurf let's come on windsurf and then maybe create a new casket yeah let's do that and then here i'm gonna so you, you can look at this mcp server so you can see we have one available mcp server it says add memories add a new memory this method is called every time the user informs anything about themselves so let's me show you how it's gonna work basically because i'm also trying right now uh, right now i'm just doing this live i haven't done any preparation for this video if you look at here let's say i'm gonna give anything about ai anytime right uh, let's do that here uh, i want winds to remember about ai anytime uh, remember or else and add a uh, add this into a memory or something using memory mcp server 
and let's see what happens the moment i do that i, I said add this into a memory using uh, mcp server i will add this information about you can see if you just add memories over here the tool that we have because it has four different tools within that mcp server right uh, that we are using open memory and you can see generating just a few more seconds you now let's come back to here on localhost 3000 and i think we can also do it through apis guys you know like they have all these apis over here if you want to do it uh, if you want to build any applications on top of it we can also do that now I'll just come back. If you go to memories, there is no, of course, memory. We can also create memories. Okay, you can see this request is taking longer than expected. Cool, guys. As you can see, we have got a couple of memories. So one I added through this interface, but one got added through WinSub. So we, you can see just now, it took a bit of time, you know, to add it. But yeah, it's able to add the memory. You can see it says, uh, this is what we added through WinSub. So cases, projects, including healthcare AI, I just added something, you know, just randomly. AI agents and ACO tools, you can see created by WinSub. So it also tells you that, you know, from which tool or which MCP client or which MCP host, you know, it has kind of created this memory, right? And it, the good thing is it gives you some metadata, some tags, so you can filter it out later, right? So you can see it says AI, ML technology, health, projects, work, right? Now, you can see related memory and it also has related memories AI anytime with a youtube channel dedicated to generative ai and machine learning and i created this if you go to memories over here excuse me you know you can see uh, this one that I, I i created through open memory itself and they have related memory some logs and whatnot now if i go back to memories this is where you can see the memory you can create yourself from here and that will be available to all these clients that you are you know you have installed uh this open memory but you can directly connect through uh application uh, this mcp client or of course applications now in the apps you can see we have two apps open memory of course through this interface running on localhost 3000 and the windserve which is on uh that i'm using an ide as you can see it over here right now yeah you can look at details and whatnot right you can see x access uh active one memory first access never go to dashboard you can find out some memories and this is how you want to connect over you can connect over you can see total apps connected there are two apps connected now there are two memories we can also delete memories right we can list down memories but sometimes it's breaking sometimes it gets timed out of course you know there's and that's how cloud cloud for desktop has problem with the app data folder because even if you are removing it makes sure you delete it from the app data in your local local dc if you're working on windows machine but yeah let's let's also look at the other tools that we have right now you can ask about list all the list all the memory uh you know list all the memories from mcp tool and see if you're not working for you some time you always close the ide you know if you're on windows go to task manager and close it from there if you're on uh, mac os make sure that you quit this and then again reopen it right uh, you can see it's really worked fine over here okay uh, you can see based on the memory list there are currently two memories stored AI anytime is a youtube channel focused on generative ai and machine learning that's what we do right so cases projects including healthcare agents seo tool this is interesting because when we initially added the information you can see it was not working right uh, initially like i tried you know previously and it was giving me timed out error so if it gives you timed out error with this memory make sure that you restart it and looks fantastic I'm, i really like open memory because it's open source you know you have your uh github uh, repository over here you can go you can again enhance this further right there are a lot of pull requests right now you can see 93 pull requests for this particular repository mem0 and we can work on it and you can also use this through apis let's say you want to build some applications you are building applications and you want to utilize this memories you can use this very good written you know fast api endpoints right and this is how it runs and I just takes, took something from this chat GPT. And that's all guys, I really liked it. Try it out on cursor. Let me know if it worked for you on Claude. Maybe I don't not see your, I, I didn't debug it. Probably I will debug it now after the video, but yeah, it works. It works really good. Sometimes uh, it might give you some issues. So make sure that you start it again, right? And let's click on this memory. What else we have here, guys? This memory, search memory. Search through stored memory. This method is called every time you just ask anything. Ah, okay. Yeah, but I think that will work but that's great guys open memory i liked it i liked it a lot uh, credit goes to all the 
uh, developers, creators, contributors. This is not a sponsored video, guys. I don't do a sponsors video on at least on open source tools because they are already open source. So we have to highlight them. And as in this MCP playlist, it's going to be I think 19th video now. 19th, 19th videos on MCP the memory because memory is the missing piece. You know, even I have heard that Microsoft is working on infinite memory. I don't know how that will be possible, maybe a gimmick. But imagine if we have memory that can store everything that we are interacting with, right? And that becomes our second brain. And that's why I believe, you know, memory is really, really important for uh, agentic AI. And in the future, of course, people are talking about AGIs where we'll have, you know, different dimensions. Yeah, it, it's not going to only be possible through LLMs or AI agents. They have to work in tandem with different other tools and technologies, I believe, you know, uh, if you look at that way. But yeah, I'm not going to go uh, talk about anything nonsense here about the debatable topic. But yeah, uh, open memory, uh, give them a start on the GitHub repo. I'm going to share the repo in the uh, video description. If you like the video, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos. If you're facing any problems, issues, you know, uh, reach out to me through my social media channel and find those information on channel banner and channel about us. You can also comment, right, your opinion, views, and thoughts in the comment box. Please share the video and the channel with your friends and to peer. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.